recording about now and let me go ahead and share my screen all right so what we're going to be covering here today good folks is um is something that was released this week this very week and um it's microsoft did extensions at ai and it is really a simple 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 way of um reducing the amount of hard coding that you have to do to build um ai solutions um language model solutions and this was um really actually born from um semantic kernel if you were using semantic kernel in the past um evan chucky here the gm um talked about it um it basically from microsoft to semantic kernel those abstractions which which semantic kernel as you know already abstracts away and simplifies the way that you can actually speak to either azure open ai or open ai itself your own model um, this is um, simplifying that even more. So um, what was previously semantic kernel abstractions is now or um, has evolved to just Microsoft and extension that AI, which allows you if you are either building your own packages, consumption, the consumer for package, um, you know, building your own solutions to really simplify that. And um, there are some samples that are here. Um, there's one for the um, for chat um, where, you, you know, you, you're going to see me do this later, so I won't talk to you too much. But if you just look at the amount of code um, that's there, it is significantly less um, just by just by you, um, you know, putting that NuGet package inside there. Um, the example that they use um, here also allow for Olama and you'll see me using Olama specifically because I'm running my models locally on this machine. Um, and you can see here that it's really, uh, in essence, three lines of code. I'm going to do two samples, um, one for um, uh, chat completion and one for um, embedding. And you can see they're extremely simple samples, which is what you want for samples anyway. You don't want to be too complicated. Um, but I'm going to do something that is more real world. Um, you're probably not going to type it what you want inside here and then say, give me an embedded from you. You're probably going to pull it from somewhere. So I'm going to go do an example, um, which is all local for that. Um, obviously, take a look at these um, these blog posts. I'll make sure to link to them in the description of the video or in the chat. Um, there's some beautiful samples here as well, too, for AI solutions. Um, I encourage you to go take a look at them as well, um, how to do login, um, how to build a web app with semantic kernel. Um, I myself um, um, have a um, already pushed up this code to a public repo called Luxmensis. I'll link that as well. And you can see them both here um, pushed up 38 minutes ago. So what I'm going to be doing quite simply is just um, pulling this NuGet package down, one for um, extensions.ai. Because I'm using Olama locally, I'm going to pull down Olama as well. Um, I went out and got an embedding a model as well from Olama. And uh, what's this one right here? And this is just showing you if you did OpenAI, it's just as simple doing the OpenAI one as well. So whereas you could do the extensions at AI and then um, OpenAI, I'm doing um, Olama instead. Um, let's take a look. Let's validate that just to show you. If I go here, you can see that I um, did a Olama poll for the um, the embedded model because I already had um, a Llama 3.1 70 billion dollar billion. What do I say? 70 billion dollar 70 billion parameter and Phi 3 as well. And now I also have the um, the embedding there as well too. So let's jump to code. So if we go to Visual Studio Code here, and we're going to start with a simple, simple one before, which, as you can see, as I mentioned before, um, let's just go to our project file. We just have two um, items referenced, basically the um, the extensions.ai and the Olama. And inside here, what we're doing simply is um, loading uh, an iChat um, a client uh, from extensions.ai because we want to deal with chat and we're just passing into it the web service for own llama because it's running locally and my llama 3.170b um passing in this um uh, string right here asking it to in to what is um m365 copilot give me two sentences no more than two sentences and five bullet points so we're gonna look at gpu here um we can see it's um pretty low right now and then dot net run and go ahead and take a look see at that we can see there it is spiking a little bit there um, but pretty soon we should get some results coming back again this is all running locally so no token cost to me um, all running on my machine here and um, you know should come back relatively yeah well relative is a relative word right so it should come back soon is, is probably the appropriate and there we go no more than two sentences there it is right there you can pause the video and take a look and five bullet points and it is pretty yeah it's doing what it's supposed to do the next one 
I have is the um, uh, embedding one, and this is a little bit more real world. I wanted to provide you some real world samples. Again, samples shouldn't be too complicated, um, but you're not going to be passing in a string for something like that. So what I've done here is, um, again, what I've loaded here, let's go into my project file, is again, um, the uh, reference to extensions at AI, Olama again, and because of my sample, I load the HTML agility pack, which allows me to go get a web page, use HTTP client. Um, and I'm I, what I've done is I have a couple um, helper methods, one that's going to extract the HTML, the text from the HTML, and one that's going to um, actually do the embedding. So what you'll see down here in this one, uh, yeah, exactly. Is um, you know, you know, once the client comes back with the information, um, I'm cleaning up the style, um, the style sheets and any scripts that may be there. You know, cleaning up some um, some HTML tags. But basically, again, here, just um, you know, calling against the extensions at AI this time for the um, embedded generator, and then I'm just passing in the um, the local URL and also passing in now my embedding model rather than the 71B that you saw before. This is now the, um, the mini LM3. And what I did before, it would just output it into console.writeline. Um, what I'm doing here is just putting it into a text file because it really blows up my terminal. And um, that's basically, oh, we should talk about this, right? So um, when you're doing embeddings, you, you want to manage the amount, well, you're going to be pulling in information that may span multiple pages. And the way embeddings work, you know, obviously it is, you know, it's um, characters, um, partial words, and, and maybe some words, if, depending on the length. So you want to basically have, when if you're planning on doing like searches, um, you know, against um, the uh, a vector database, you want to basically have it as such that there's a little bit of overlap and, you um, uh, in the context window, and um, and you manage it in chunks. So we're telling it here that we want the chunk size to be a thousand, and um, we have a little helper method down here that actually does that as well. So let's go ahead and run this one, which we will get um, this file created over here once we're done. So dot run, and again. Here's our GPU. The file's already there. Oh, that's CPU, not GPU. You can already see it was a little bit of a blip. But basically, for this web page that is here, this is now the output of what that embedding looked like. You would then take this and then you could load it into something like um, a Chroma DB running on your machine as well, maybe in a Docker container. This could be put inside a um, Azure um, AI search. Um, you know, again, cutting down your cost, you can do it locally and then push it there with via a job. These are just all different ways that you can start to use um, language models, um, whether on your PC or um, in Azure AI or in OpenAI. But the power of this is really now local. As you see me here doing this here, I'm trying to keep this video very short. Go and try it out. Go to my repo, pull it down and play with it yourself. Very, very simple. Hope you um, enjoy this video.